Hello and welcome to today's instalment of the Week of Light. We really hope that you've enjoyed the content so far and that it has indeed lightened up the final week of what can often be quite a dark month for many people. Today, we've asked some of our healthcare professionals who attend our church to share with us a little bit of their story, explaining some of the motivations that led them to go into healthcare in the first place, and also to talk a little bit about some of their experiences of recent times. These are some of the people who have been on the front line of the coronavirus pandemic, who have been involved in saving lives, administering treatments, and making some pretty difficult decisions at times as well. So, we, we thank these people for their work. We thank them for their commitment to others and for the care and love that they have shown to the patients in their charge. And it's going to be great to hear from them some of their stories as they share with us today. And let's make sure that if we know anyone who works in healthcare, whether they feature on this video or not, take the time today to send them a little message and thank them for all that they do for the people that they care for. Enjoy it and come back tomorrow for the Saturday instalment of the Week of Light. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a children's nurse. I became a children's nurse because I wanted to help children and their families. I'm Viv Devlin and for the past 23 years I've worked as a practice nurse at a GP surgery in Shenfield. At the age of about 17 I first considered nursing as a career and it was with great excitement and anticipation that in uh, September 1976, I left Cornwall and came up to Bart's Hospital to start my training. Hi everyone, I'm Janine, I'm a GP and I wanted to be a doctor because when I was about six, there was a programme called Emergency Ward 10, it was very popular. It was a bit like casualty, but not as gory. And there was a lady surgeon called Dr. Louise Marler. And unlike in casualty, her patients always got better. And she was very pretty. And she did lots of operations. And I wanted to be like her. Hello, my name is Georgie and I'm a theatre nurse at Broomfield Hospital. And I think it's a real privilege to be with people when they're often finding themselves really scared or frightened when they're coming for surgery and they're very nervous and to be able to provide you know such good care and uh, reassuring words before someone goes to sleep to be able to reflect on why I'm a nurse is actually really helpful and so I actually appreciated being asked the question because I think sometimes it can help you to refocus on why you're doing what you're doing. Hi everyone I'm Michelle Goodeve and the reason I went into healthcare was mainly my family and wider friends growing up, many of whom were in the medical professions. I took a gap year and worked with a Christian charity supporting vulnerable and homeless people. And whilst doing that, met a podiatrist, somebody who looks after foot health. I was fascinated in this and ended up going off to train to be a podiatrist myself. It is a profession that gives so much job satisfaction and I love it. Thank you. My name is Fiona Magala. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am a medical doctor, so I qualified as a GP 13 years ago. Uh, being a GP, a lot of people confide in you. Uh, you know, they trust you, they respect you. You know, there are a lot of positives and it's been one of the most rewarding um, careers and I'm very grateful to my mother for encouraging me to do it. Uh, it involves a lot of sacrifice, a lot of long hours, hard work, uh, but what makes it worthwhile is that difference that we make to patients. Hi, my name is Pete. I'm an anaesthetist at Broomfield Hospital working in the theatres and the burns unit. I first wanted to be a doctor because I saw it as a way of using my gifts to be able to serve other people, especially those who are unwell or anxious.